Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be talking about cancel culture, because my goodness, they have been on a roll lately. So many things have been canceled in these last two weeks, and it's just crazy, man. People can find anything to bitch about these days, and it's just so annoying. Now there are quite a few things we're going to talk about, so I just want to get right into it. We're going to start with probably some of the oldest stuff, and by old I mean like maybe like a week or two ago. Some of you may know this already, but a, a couple of the Dr. Seuss books have been cancelled for the apparent racist imagery. Now, I haven't really seen this racist imagery. I haven't read a Dr. Seuss book since I was like three or some shit. But to be honest, it doesn't really matter why they're cancelling it. it. It matters because of what they're cancelling. It's a fucking Dr. Seuss book. Aren't those books supposed to like tell like a, a, like a lesson through the story, you know? Isn't like Green Eggs and Ham's fucking moral like try it you know, you might like it or some shit like that and obviously it's not the demogra the main demographic that's canceling it you know you don't see five year olds on Twitter yelling at people and getting mad because oh I saw something racist in my fucking Dr Seuss book no the ones that are crying are the adults probably the ones who have to read this shit to their kid for bedtime. And again, it's a children's book. Do you think when you read this story to to little Johnny before bed, you think he's gonna be like, wow, that was an interesting story? Or is he gonna be like, wow, I can't believe they had something racist in my book? Kids don't give a shit what's in their book. They just want a good story and they want to see colorful pictures. They're not trying to dissect everything they see and think about, oh, how this could be racist and, you know, inappropriate in today's world. Now we're gonna go into the next topic, which is, uh, Pepe Le Pew, the, uh, infamous skunk character from Looney Tunes. Now, this one's a bit of a gray area. While, again, it is a cartoon character for the demographic of children, the stuff the character does is a little weird, I will admit. Now, the reason Pepe Le Pew was canceled was because he apparently adds to rape culture. And when you look at it, it kind of isn't wrong in a sense, but it's not right. In this tweet here, we could see, you know, the big reasons why he was canceled, and we're gonna go ahead and read it. Uh, it says, you know, the blogs are mad because I said Pepe Le Pew added to rib culture, so let's see. He grabs slash kisses a girl slash stranger repeatedly without consent and against her will. She struggles mightily to get away from him, but won't release. He locks the door to prevent from escaping. And yeah, it, it is kind of bad, I will say. Not really something I would expect to see for a kid's cartoon. But again, it's just a cartoon. He's not really meant to add to rape culture. That wasn't the intent of the character. But I'm just going to leave that that statement there. I, I don't really want to go into Pepe Le Pew. He, again, he's a very gray area. It's really heads or tails. But now I want to go into the more recent cancels because I think these are pretty stupid. So the first character we're going to go over is Miss Piggy. You might know her from the uh, Muppets series. If you guys have seen the Muppets, you know her character. She, she loves Kermit the Frog and she's very feisty, I'd say. She really, you know, doesn't give two shits what people do. She will attack because, you know, she ain't gonna stand by and let some stupid shit go down. And that is a big part of the character. She is very physical. She does, like, hit a lot and fight, I think. And I think that's where the problem lies. I also think the problem lies with her interactions with Kermit because she's very, like... She's very, I guess, straightforward. She's not afraid to run up to Kermit, tackle him, and start kissing him all over the face. Now, people brought this up because of the similarities to Pepe Le Pew, but I gotta say, it's very different. It has similarities, but it's it's by far a very different case. First off, it's different because Kermit actually has interest in Miss Piggy. That's their, like, thing. They like each other, you know? Also, a big thing was her, like, physical violence. You know, there's a, there's a tweet right here. They show a little gif of uh, the old, like, model, I guess, of Miss Piggy. Karate chopping Kermit. Side note, by the way, th th that Miss Piggy, it, it just kind of creeps me out. And the thing is, she doesn't just attack people for no reason. She usually attacks if provoked or if necessary. It's not like Miss Piggy's going up to Fozzie Bear and, and just starts fucking kicking him in the balls because she doesn't like him or something. That's just her character. She's that tough, blunt person that doesn't take shit from anybody and isn't afraid to get dirty if she needs to. But again, the big thing here, it's a cartoon character who gives a shit. Kids are going to go see Miss Piggy and be like, Hey, 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 little brother, come here, I want to show you something. And just fucking chop them in the neck because they, they want to. Again, the people who are bitching on Twitter are probably not the demographic for the for the characters, which is children. It's probably adults, like, like the parents of the children who watch the show or the movies. Now, the next character we're talking about is Speedy Gonzalez, another Looney Tunes character. 
The, the reason people are canceling Speedy is because he apparently uh, popularized the stereotypes of drunk and lethargic Mexicans. Now, I feel like stereotypes in media are different from stereotypes, you know, being used in, like, the real world. When authors, writers, you know, TV showmakers, or the fuck you want to say, when people are making stuff, like, and they're making characters and stories, I feel like they use stereotypes just so people can understand who and what, like, the person is, I guess. Like, if you look at Speedy Gonzalez, you can see him wearing a cliched Mexican sombrero, and he also has a Mexican accent. This isn't really something you see now, like, in today's world, but back in the day, this was something that was used a lot. When these characters are made, they aren't made with the intent of being racist or spreading stereotypes. They may use the stereotypes to help enforce the kind of character they want to portray, but they're not using it for racist intents. Gabriel Iglesias, who is actually going to voice Speedy in the new Space Jam, actually made a tweet about the whole cancel Speedy thing and how he just doesn't really agree. And you know, I don't really agree with it either. I think Speedy is fine. I think a lot of the shit that's being canceled is fine for the most part. I, it just People just find anything to complain about. Especially when it's something that's not meant for them and is not meant to be portrayed in the way that they look at it. Especially when we're talking about like the theme of this episode and how we're talking about all the cartoon characters. Kids don't give a shit. Do you think that children watching these shows are looking and nitpicking for the ethnic and racial stereotypes? For all the horrible things that they're apparently spreading around? No, because the kids don't give two shits about that. They care about the funny stuff that's going on, on the television screen. If you grown-ass adults don't like it, it, just don't fucking watch it. It's not for you anyway. You don't have to ruin it for everybody else who sees the true picture and what's supposed to be presented. Our next and last topic is Disney. Disney actually removed, I think, four movies from the kids' profiles on the, on the Disney Plus platform. Kids no longer have access to the Aristocats, Dumbo, Peter Pan, or Swiss Family Robinson. Now, Disney actually made a website, and they actually uh, tell us why these were removed from the kid profiles. And we're going to go ahead and look at them. So first we have the Aristocats, and the reason that this was taken off is because of this Chinese cat, or this Asian cat. The reason being that he has apparently exaggerated stereotypical traits. As you can see, he has like the generic slanted eyes and the buck tooth. Now again, the reason this was done was not for racist intents, it's just to show you what this cat is supposed to be and who he's supposed to be. These character like designers, when they make these characters, especially like these animal-esque characters, they give them these very stereotypical traits so they know what they're supposed to look like and, you know, who they're supposed to be. People behind Aristocats want an Asian cat. It's not really easy to portray Asian cats, so the best way was to use very exaggerated stereotypes like chopsticks and the slanted eyes. And while it might be in poor taste to some people, it has no malicious intent behind it. Next, they tell us why they removed Dumbo, and it's because of the crows themselves and the musical number. Now the reason behind this is all because of apparently the musical pays homage to minstrel shows which are basically racial et like entertainment. Now I believe the song that they are referencing is the song of the rustabouts. Now the word rustabouts actually has a meaning that is a circus laborer which is what is being depicted in the movie. Now in the song the laborers are actually uh, I think they're all supposed to be African Americans. Or at least they look that way because I think a lot of them are being hidden in shadows. You actually don't see like a full-fledged model of one of them. It's kind of like seeing silhouettes basically. And with the birds, the birds, uh, I think the big problem is with the bird Jim Crow. Now for those who have taken like middle school history, you know that the Jim, Jim Crow might be a nod to the Jim Crow laws. Which uh, enforced racial segregation. But all these problems with... Just all the racism that they apparently see, it, it's just, it's a kid's movie. They don't give a shit. This movie was made in like 1941, so there might be things that aren't, you know, up to our standards in the in this day and age. They even call it one of the lines for the songs. They said that one of the offensive lyrics are, we, we get our pay and we throw our money away. I don't really get how that's supposed to be offensive. Isn't the song supposed to be about how all these uh, rustabouts are just happy doing what they're doing? I mean, they even say in the song that their pay is not, you know, money they get, but it's the smiles from the children's faces when they go to the circus. I don't even know if Disney knows their own shit at this point. 
And do you think the kids are going to be like, Mommy, Mommy, look at all the faceless black people working there. Or are they going to be like, Oh, that's a fun song. Go oh boy. Kids don't care. They just don't care. And if you adults are the ones who care, which you know you are, get the fuck over it. You're canceling shit for just unrelated reasons. Oh, we have to cancel Dumbo because it makes a nod to the Jim Crow laws which enforce segregation. Yeah, because that's what people are going to think about when they watch Dumbo, not about what's going to happen at the end of the movie and how's everything going to be resolved. Next is Peter Pan. Peter Pan was removed because of the, uh, the stereotype of redskins, the offensive term used for Native Americans, and the Native Americans in the movies. Some of them were portrayed with having more red skin color. But again, your main demographic is not going to take that into account at all. Kids probably won't even know what the, the term red skin means. They're probably going to say, oh, that was, the, uh, that was the old name of the fucking football team. Now, the final one is the Swiss Family Robinson. The reason that this was removed from the child uh, pro uh, profiles was because uh, apparently the family itself is portraying stereotypical foreign menace. So apparently the group that is supposed to be portrayed are Asian and Middle Eastern people. And to that, I kind of want to call bullshit. Aren't these people supposed to be portrayed pirates or something? Like, I haven't even seen the movie, but I see a pirate ship at the back, and they look like pirates. But for the more straightforward reason, it doesn't fucking matter. People aren't going to see this as, oh, look at them. They're dressing like Asians and Middle Eastern people. Especially children. Do you think children are going to know what the fuck that is? Do you think they're going to know how those people are going to dress? Do you even think they're going to call it out? Because they're not. They have no idea what the fuck this even means. But anyway, I'm going to end this video here. Cancel culture, it's really just so fucking annoying. They just find every small little detail that might be somewhat racist, somewhat sexist, somewhat anything. And they just want it gone for no fucking reason other than just to cause a problem. Especially when they're touching about topics that involve children. Like fucking Dr. Seuss books? Come on! Nobody's gonna fucking notice! The, the children who are supposed to be reading these books are not gonna notice racial imagery. Kids don't give a shit. They just want to see the movie. They want to get- you want- they want to watch something cool, fun, and entertaining. But unfortunately you have st stupid fucking retard adults that have to come in and ruin everybody's fun. Hey, cancel culture. If it's something like this, something where it just- doesn't pertain to you in particular, like most of the shit that you want to cancel. Just keep it to yourselves. Don't support it. You don't have to ruin stuff like this for everybody else. And I think I'm going to be done here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe and all that jazz. Turn on the bell so you know when I make a new video. Go to the description and click on the links for my Twitch and my Twitter and all that jazz. And uh, yeah, uh, see you guys later.